could see something pretty amazing. You, absolutely, and, and some of this has been in and out of the news, and, and for, for really avid sky watchers, this is a big event coming in. It's the Comet Ison, and, and Ison is this the first time this comet has ever been in our solar system, so it's a really interesting event. And from now through Thanksgiving, this comet will be moving closer and closer toward the sun, and frankly, NASA uh, astronomers don't know what happens when it gets to the sun and, and interacts with the sun's atmosphere. It's going to be very interesting. But over the next several days, you'll be able to see it in the eastern sky pre-dawn. And our sunrises will be running right now at 644, and you lose about a minute a day. So in the next week, it'll be, it'll be back around 637. But what you're looking for, I have some of the constellations highlighted there. And then in white, of course, we have the planet Mercury. You have Mars there. And there is Comet Ison. And for some folks, it could be visible to the naked eye and certainly folks have seen it with binoculars here lately so on a clear morning before sunrise you'll be able to see it but there are other comets in the sky we have 2p Enki up there linear x1 which is my favorite name and then lovejoy r1 which is also a very interesting comet and they're all vi uh, visible if you have the right equipment but ison right now visible with binoculars are possible with the naked eye and to give you an idea of what you're looking for this was taken from the top of mount lemon near tucson arizona uh, at a block with the university of arizona took this image again using a small telescope to enhance the uh, photography a little bit but again unbelievable images of this and uh, NASA this is a NASA image of ice on as it mo as it moves toward the atmosphere of the Sun so it's really a special event a and not so much because uh, it it's visible we've seen visible comets before but it's because this is a brand new comet it is uh, come from about four and a half billion years away from the depths of space first visit to the solar system. So pretty fun. And you don't have to worry about, oh, I can't do it tonight, or oh, it's cloudy. From now through Thanksgiving, uh, this should last. But the one thing NASA scientists don't know, Kim and Mark, is as it gets closer to the sun, what will it do? Will it break apart? Will it survive? Will it get brighter? They're not sure. Everybody's going to learn together. Oh, at the same moment. That what is are the good. odds? On November 18th and 19th, not one, but two comets will fly by the planet Mercury. This is a unique coincidence, says Ron Vervek, an astronomer at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab and a member of the science team for NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft, and a golden opportunity to study two comets passing close to the Sun. On November 18th, Comet Enki will pass within 0 0.025 astronomical units of Mercury, followed a day later by Comet Ison at 0.24 AU. The MESSENGER spacecraft which is orbiting Mercury, will turn its sensors toward the passing comets for a point-blank investigation of both. The double flyby is exciting, says Vervek, but it makes things a little crazy. We have to rush to complete our observations of Comet Inky, then do it all over again for Comet Ison. Everything is happening at more or less the same time. MESSENGER was designed to study Mercury, not comets. But it is a capable spacecraft with a versatile instrument package, he adds. We hope to get some great data. Onboard spectrometers will analyze the chemical makeup of the two comets, while MESSENGER's cameras snap pictures of atmospheres, jets, and tails. Comet ISON is already a media favorite. Astronomers have been tracking it since September of 2012, when it was discovered on a trajectory that would take it perilously close to the Sun. On November 28th of 2013, Thanksgiving Day in the United States, Comet Ison will pass through the Sun's atmosphere little more than a million kilometers above the Sun's fiery surface. If the icy comet survives, it could emerge as a beautiful naked eye object for observers in the Northern Hemisphere. MESSENGER's glimpse of Comet Ison as it plunges inward could give astronomers the data they need to predict the comet's fate. Comet Inky is less well-known, but no less interesting. For one thing, it is the source of the Torrid Meteor Shower, a slow display of midnight fireballs that occurs every year in early to mid-November. Comet Inky dips inside the orbit of Mercury every 3.3 years, so it is regularly exposed to solar activity. In 2007, NASA's Stereo spacecraft watched as a solar storm ripped off Inky's tail, which promptly grew back. We'll be catching Comet Inky just days before its closest approach to the Sun. 0.3 AU, Vervex says, so we get to see it at its most active. 
Ironically, the fact that Messenger is designed to study a rocky planet could prove advantageous for the icy comets. Messenger's X-ray spectrometer in particular could detect signs of comet dirt. We hope to obtain the first definitive detections of X-ray emissions from silicon, magnesium, and aluminum, he explains. If you think of a comet as a dirty snowball, these are elements that make up the dirt. Close to the sun is where we expect the dirt to be vaporized. In total, Vervec expects Messenger to gather 15 hours worth of data on Comet Inky and another 25 hours on Comet Ison. With that kind of observing time, new discoveries are a distinct possibility. Vervec says the first images will be beamed back and released to the public within days of the flybys. There are no guarantees, he cautions, but I can't wait to see the pictures.